Hey you guys, it's Peter. And I'm back. Of course I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. Beast! Peekaboo, I see you because I'm YouTube famous now. Available Easter 2023. The Easter album. Dad. Shimmy shimmy. AF. <clears throat> Here comes Peter Cottontail Hopping down the bunny trail Hippity hoppity Easter's on its way Boost! How are you guys doing today? Oh my god, I missed you! It has been so long. It has been almost a week since I have filmed a video over here. Um, I took some time off. My husband was getting ready to help his mother move to Spain. My mother-in-law moved to a very, very small town in Spain called uh, Ponte Verde, and it's about a half an hour north of Vigo. So they left on Sunday. They are having such a fantastic time. Um, they are going to, they're going to sleep right now, actually. He just FaceTimed me. And then they're getting up tomorrow morning, and they're going to Santiago, because there's a church that she wants to go to for Ash Wednesday. And then they're taking the train to Madrid for a couple days. And then they're going to Barcelona for a couple days. And then she's staying in Spain and he's coming back to me and uh, Mr. Boo Radley. And during the, the time that he's gone, Mr. Boo Radley and I are having a little bit of a bachelor week. So I was spending time with Alex, um, which was part of why I took some time off. But mostly it was because of this excruciating pain that I have been going through with my tooth extraction. And so I was like, I just need to take some time off and heal. I just need to allow my tooth to heal, allow my mouth to feel better. I would like make a video and I would like film it for like, you know, 20 or 30 minutes. And then like, I would feel in such pain for like three or four hours afterwards that I was like, this is just not even worth it. So I got so many messages and DMs from you guys. And I just want to say, it meant so much to me. I just, I really, really appreciate it. You know, the fact that anybody even cares that I'm gone, like not making videos, like it just, it means so much to me. Any I just want you also to know that anytime that I am like gone, I try to like post something on my community tab on um, my, for my vlog. Maybe I need to do it on my drama channel too. I should have probably done that, but I didn't. But anyway, um, but I'm back. I'm back. How are you guys doing? And if you want to know everything that I did during the time that I was gone, I uploaded a vlog last night to my Peter Vlogs channel. I have lots of videos to make. Um, today, I believe I'm also going to do a review video and a Peterisms video and then, of course, my vlog. And then um, I may be doing, it may be a two for Tuesday today, I may be making another drama video. I asked people um, what you guys wanted me to film videos about since I've been gone for a week. And people gave me all kinds of suggestions. I had already thought about making a video about Jacqueline Hill. So I have uh, receipts about Jacqueline Hill. I have like four videos about Jeffree Star that I could make. In fact, I got about 20 minutes into filming this video and I was like, okay, how can I kind of put all this together concisely? and make it in a concise manner so that I can kind of like make one major video and then maybe come back tomorrow or the next day and, and fulfill, fulfill, follow up with some of my thoughts about all of this. So today we're going to talk about Jeffree Star <clears throat> and the controversy of what he came out and said about they, them pronouns in his podcast interview that he did with Bussin' with the Boys. So are you ready? <laughs> I've gotten so many messages from you guys. Thousands and thousands. I'm mean, not thousands like Jeffrey Star and um, Jeffrey Star and Jacqueline Hill get. They get thousands of DMs, you know, from people. Not like that, but I did get quite a few from you guys wanting to know what I thought about all of this. So <clears throat> before I get into all of this, and I'm gonna have to insert. I have several Instagram stories of Jeffrey Stars and all of that, but I do before I even get into all of that in this discussion so that everybody's on the same page and they know what I'm talking about, I want to insert this little clip right here from the podcast interview of what Jeffree Star had to say so that we are all on the same page because, because Jeffree Star came out and he said, boost, that he was going to be suing media outlets um, that said he was transphobic or if they got anything that he said wrong or something like that, which is always interesting to me, you know, that when they're kind of making fun of us or joking about us or whatever, or they don't like us, we're hate channels, or we're gossip tea channels, or we're drama channels. It's like their indirect way of putting us down. But when they want people to take us very seriously, we're media outlets. 
we're journalists. <laughs> you know, I have never claimed in my six and a half years of doing this to be a journalist. I'm not a journalist. I'm a drama channel, okay? I used to be a candle review company, and now I'm a drama, can drama channel. So now y'all know, okay? I'm not a journalist. I'm not a media outlet. I'm a lowly drama channel, okay? Let's not get it confused. What we're not going to do is lie on Peter Mon. I have never said that I was a journalist, okay? So anyway, here's what Jeffree Star had to say in his podcast regarding pronouns um, with busting with the boys. Here you go. I might into all the other bullshit, I think. What other bullshit? The they and them. Yeah. And all that extra shit that we added during the pandemic because everyone mm -hmm. was so bored on their fucking houses. They just started to make up more shit and more, more shit. More stuff, more stuff. Yeah. That's where the conservatives like me because I'm just real. Yeah, you There's do no, have a conservative vibe to you. You're them. You're trans, you're male or you're female. And you're standing and on that. so mad when I say that. How are you a they? What the fuck does that mean? It's stupid is what it is. Yeah. But you need someone like me that looks like me to say it. Because if you say it, it turns into you're homophobic. You hate trans people. You hate gays. And it's just how you feel. You don't hate anyone. You just think it's stupid. So that's what Jeffrey had to say. Okay. So... <laughs> A lot of people ask me what I thought about this, and I have, I have a lot of thoughts about it, honestly. Um, I think it would be best if I, first of all, read you the tweet that I put out. Um, hold on a second. So I was asked, oh, I had it all queued up, and now it's gone. Hold on a second. So I, ha I was asked um, by Avery what I thought about, hold on a second, here it is. Let me get my reading glasses on. Avery asked me, I really want to know your opinion on Jeffree Star's conversation about non-binary identities and the usage of pronouns. And I responded and I said, I think I'm honestly surprised. I'll be talking about it in a video, but I've never looked at him as a person of high moral integrity. I've been out much longer than him and we've come so far for him to confuse the conversation. Feel whatever you want, believe what you want to believe, but why is it so hard to be respectful? I just don't understand. Mostly, it makes me sad for those who identify as they, them, who have looked up to him for years and paid for his jacks. And that's honestly how I feel about it. I will say, I, I am surprised that he came out with this statement. And I have to believe that Jeffrey came out because he was wanting to pull a lot of controversy about it. I believe that he knew that he was going to go in this interview, interview and he was going to say something about it. I, I really do believe that he was, he was going to say that. Um, because when you look at Jeffrey Star's history, and a lot of people have pulled up clips of things that he has said in the past. It's so oppositional to things that he has said in the past, you know? And he has said that he's identified as an alien before and all these kinds of things, right? And so it's, and, and he even came out in an Instagram story, which I'm gonna show you, where he says, I'm not an alien. This is giving very much human and things like that. And, and I think, you know, often, with beauty influencers, YouTubers, and things like that, it's the constant moving of the goalpost. It's like when something applies to them to help them move a product, sell a product, sell a point, make a video, get views, or whatever, then they can say it, and that applies to them. But then when they want to come out and they want to change, it's like they, they change everything that they feel or whatever, and so you don't really know what somebody really believes or how they really truly feel. Because it's the constant moving of the goalpost. So when Jeffrey Star says that he has always felt this way, well, no, I don't necessarily believe that you have. Or if you really did believe this way, then all of the things that you have said in the past seem to be, at this point, just marketing tactics that you were just pandering to an audience that would buy in to you saying that you accepted them for whoever they were or whatever, okay? Because it wasn't just that he came out in the interview that he said, um, like, I, I struggle understanding they, them pronouns, or, like, I, I just don't agree with the usage of the they, them pronouns. I mean, he said all of that other bullshit. It's, it's a very kind of, like, uh, minimizing, patronizing, and condescending way of talking about people that identify as they, them. I just, my biggest issue is, I just don't understand why in 2023 it's so hard to be respectful of somebody however that they identify, you know? And I said in there that I've been out much longer than Jeffrey. I have. You know, I came out in on my 18th birthday, summer of 1990, and 
when I came out, I was scared to death to tell people that I was gay. I was scared to hold hands with another guy, even in Boys Town in Chicago, you know, where it was widely accepted. I was scared to be myself, and most of the people around me that I knew felt the same way. We've come a long way. We've come a long way in the LGBTQIA plus community, right? And yet, there is still a backlash, and there is still a lot of violence towards the LGBT community, specifically towards the trans community and, and the non-binary community. So when you have this kind of rhetoric that's going along, going on from somebody that so many people have looked up to for so long as like a voice of difference, come out and say something so oppositional, it really confuses the conversation. And I have to thank for the people that looked up to Jeffrey for so long as somebody that was different, that could be whoever they wanted to be. It has to be very confusing. Like, I really looked up to you, and now what is this, okay? You know, a lot of people want to get behind this whole idea that he made this comment about that's why conservatives like me and whatever. When I heard him say that, I just kind of laughed. I mean, in all honesty, I'm just like, I don't think, I mean, you want to break this down and make something political about it. I don't really think that liberals, conservatives, whatever, I don't think really anybody is looking at Jeffree Star as like a, a, a person of high moral integrity. I just don't. I said that in my statement and I don't think that people do. He is a beauty influencer, beauty mogul, okay? Do I think that people look at him and what his belief system is? I mean, he's not Miss America. Nobody's going to him for his platform. Let's just be for real, okay? So I, he, you know, is acting like, why is everybody so interested in this statement that I made? Everybody is so interested in this statement that you made because it is so oppositional to what you have put out there in the world up to this point. It is so con completely different than what everybody believed you to be up to this point, right? And, and I think that's the thing, is that um, so many people are confused, and I have some notes, so I want to make sure that I don't miss my notes, but I think that's why so many people are confused <clears throat> by what Jeffree Star is saying and calling him like a hypocrite and all this kind of stuff, you know? Um, so anyway, Jeffree Star comes out because, of course, he gets this huge black backlash, right? And he comes out and he makes a statement in an Instagram story, basically um, kind of backpedaling a little bit. Now, I do want to say before I get in this, because <laughs> he's going to pull a Cardi B and start suing media outlets that get things wrong. I do want to say this. He did not say in the interview that he does not agree with non-binary people, okay? He said he doesn't agree with the pronouns they, them. The other thing I want to say about this is that Jeffrey always has this arrogance about him, this ego, which for me has been something that has been so off-putting for so long. I am really drawn towards people that are kind of humble, that are, I don't know, sit on your front porch mentality and just kind of shoot the SHI to it. Like, that's what I love in people, people that are very humble and down to earth, right? Jeffrey always comes across as like he knows everything about the world, right? So when he comes across with his statement and he's like, oh yes, all that bullshit that they came up with during the lockdown, the pandemic, okay? And he says that all these people were just sitting around bored and so they came up with the they, them pronouns during the pandemic. First of all, you know, it's very minimizing of the amount of people that lost jobs, went without work, weren't able to pay their bills during the pandemic, weren't able to put food on their table, that had family members that were dying left and right, people that were hospitalized, People that died that weren't even able to say goodbye to their family members, you know, except for maybe on like a tablet. I mean, it, it was just extraordinarily tragic, d horrible time, right, in our world that Jeffree Star minimizes to people being bored and coming up with they, them pronouns, okay? So I went on Google because I wanted to see, because I, I knew that they, them pronouns have been used for m a very long time. I didn't expect it to be as long as it had been. But if Jeffree Star really has this firm of a, a feeling and firm of a statement about it, he could have done a, a simple Google search like I did. And what he would find is that they, them pronouns actually didn't come up during the pandemic. And this is what's dangerous, okay? Is when you have a platform the size of Jeffree Star, and he says that he has all these people that really do 
like him because he tells the truth. But actually what he's telling is an absolute lie because what he says in there is that um, the they them pronouns came up during the pandemic. Well, that's not true, Jeffrey. And if you had done a simple Google search, you might have educated yourself on what the truth was. And I went in here and I just Google searched, when did they them pronouns begin to be used regularly? And the earliest one was the 14th century, okay? And that was actually an article that, was, that came out of um, MIT um, from LGBTQ studies at MIT, okay? A quick history and brief practices and then the next one is A Brief History of Gender Neutral Pronouns. This is from the BBC. And that one is talking about how gender neutral pronouns started being used regularly during the 18th century. <clears throat> the next article is from The Atlantic. G gender neutral pronouns aren't new. And it talks about how um, they started being used regularly during the 18th century. These are not just regular blogs or joke articles that are being written up. These are highly respected people that are doing these research studies and, and manuals that are talking about the usage of um, they, them pronouns as singular pronouns and things like that. So for Jeffrey to come out in this interview and say it was things, it was bullshit and all that other bullshit that people came up with while they were bored during the pandemic is actually inaccurate and, and uneducated and, um, and is really spreading rhetoric that is not true. So when he wants to say that people are saying all this stuff about him, well, that's one thing that people can say is that his facts aren't true. Okay. That what he wants to say, his opinion, because he doesn't even really say that it's his opinion. He just comes out and says, this is why people started it. So I think that's dangerous. I think it's dangerous when you have a platform like that and you're bringing all this attention to it by all this that's being said and you're posting pictures and talking about how you're the only one at a Super Bowl red carpet event in a dress and all this kind of stuff and you're bringing all this attention to it and you don't back down, right? Maybe educate yourself and go back in and say, hey, I got something wrong or I changed my opinion or something like that. You know, but, but go on and continue to double down and double down and double down and say there's I didn't say anything wrong and what we're not going to do is lie on Jeffree Star's name okay so you didn't say that there was anything wrong with non-binary people but what you did say was that you think that people just came up with these terms all of that other bullshit during the pandemic and that you don't agree with those terms and that's your opinion well like your opinion Jeffrey people even media outlets are allowed to have their opinion on you so anyway, let's go in and talk about this next clip that Jeffree Star came out. And this was the clip that he put out after he was getting a lot of backlash um, from the interview. So here you go. Good morning, everyone. Cheers. Now, what we're not going to do today is lie on Jeffree Star's name and make up things that I never said. So recently, when I was in Arizona, I did a podcast. Obviously, I've been posting about it. Um, and I said a few things. Bitch, what we're not going to do is misconstrue what I said because you whores in the old days would do this to every single thing I said. You would pick it apart. You would make it seem like something it wasn't. Well, guess what? We're not doing that anymore, sweetie. If you don't care about any of this, please scroll past this. I'm so sorry, you guys, but I have to say what I have to say for a second. Um, so to anyone that is trying to make it seem like I said that non-binary people don't exist, I never said that. Record this right now. Never said it. You're putting words in my mouth. I said I don't like the pronouns and I don't agree with them. I never said that they don't exist. Bitch, I'm a freak. I'm a part of the LGBT community. Bitch, I'm pansexual. I'm bisexual. Whatever the fuck you want to call me. I don't like labels. I like guys. I like girls. I like sleeping with both. But I love men. Whatever you think that it, that means to you, bitch, I don't care. Label it however you want. But don't put words in my mouth. I do not agree with a few things. I'm old school. This new, all these fucking 30 terms, girl, stop. Stop complicating everything. Just chill. Take a hit. Relax. And don't put words in my fucking mouth. What we're not going to do is say I'm against the LGBTQ community. Are you fucking kidding me, bitch? That's what I am. <laughs> you don't have to agree with certain names, labels, and things. And then all of a sudden, I'm labeled something. It's an endless cycle, you guys. I get it. It's just funny. I've been a part of this game a long time. Um, I'm definitely have been way more active. Bitch is awake. I'm posting every day. I feel amazing. Um, so I think people are like, oh, Jeffrey's being a little more mouthy. No, bitch, I'm just being me. I'm doing interviews. I'm back. I'm back out, Miss Girl. 
Um, and we had an amazing time at Super Bowl weekend. The podcast is getting amazing views. Thank you guys for listening. And there was way more said than just that. And what the fuck is this? So that's Jeffree Star doubling down and saying that he just doesn't like the pronouns and he doesn't agree with them and whatever, right? What was interesting to me about this <clears throat> was that he goes in there and he says that he's pansexual or bisexual, that he likes to sleep with men or women, but that he loves men. Okay, <laughs> there are so many statements within that, just that one sentence right there. I don't even know what to do to unbox that. But for somebody that says that they don't like, and then he goes in to say, label me however you want, whatever, right? Um, he doesn't like labels, but label me however you want. I'm pansexual. I'm bisexual. I'm so confused. And this is where, like, and it, he doesn't have to come out and say anything. Like, he could live your life, do whatever you want to do, right? But this is where passing judgment on other people is like, you know, and, and I don't know if it was in this, state, this uh, clip or if it was in another clip. He comes out and he says, I think it was in another clip that I'm going to show you guys. He comes out and he says something like, why are you guys worried about Jeffrey Lynn and you're not worried about, like, train crashes and what's going on in the world and stuff like that? Girl, seriously, you are the one that sat down and this interview and you dictated what you were going to say and how you were going to say it. You were the one that came out in this interview and decided that you were going to come out and say this about they, them pronouns. Nobody forced you to say that. Okay. You were the one that wanted to come out and say that. You were the one that wanted to pander to conservatives and say all this kind of stuff and say, oh, this is why conservatives love me and blah, blah, blah. I don't think anybody cares about Jeffree Star. I don't think liberals, conservatives, anybody. I don't think any political party. I think it was really kind of like weird that he even put that out there. It's like, I, I don't know. Like it, for me, it was like, is anybody like really looking at Jeffree Star as like, like when he said, that's why conservatives love me, I kind of was like, Girl, do you think that highly of yourself that you think that anybody is really looking at you as this like whatever? No, people are talking about you, like I said, because this is so oppositional to what you said before. But I'm very confused about this, you know? The other thing I'm confused about is that, okay, so he says at the end of this little clip that there was so much more to talk about. Uh, there was so much more that they talked about in this podcast than just... Um, what do you call it? Then just uh, the pronouns and all that, okay? Which there were, were other things. It was, it was a boring interview, you guys, honestly. There were like two or three clips that you could clip. Other than that, it was a boring interview. Taylor didn't knew, know anything about uh, Jeffree Star. It was very, very obvious. And um, so it was like he was kind of just like pulling at the weeds, trying to figure stuff out and whatever. But what's interesting to me is Jeffree Star says, um, I'm pansexual. Which I don't even know if Jeffree Star knows the definition of that. And then he says, I'm bisexual. I sleep with men or women, but I love, I love men, right? Like, and that's like all of those statements are so kind of adverse to each other. Which I think going in there and saying, and then saying, and then label me however you want. But what's interesting to me about that statement is just as an observer, just watching this, okay? This is just my opinion as an observer is, it's interesting to me when Jeffree Star makes those statements that um, he, I never hear him talk about like really hot women and seeing like, I don't like, I never hear him talk about that. In fact, if you go into this interview, he goes in there and talks about hooking up with rappers and NFL players. And he talks about he prefers NFL players over rappers because rappers are just weird, is what he says. And he goes in there to talk about the hip hop, hip -hop community, of which I'm sure Jeffree Star is just so accepted into the hip hop community, you know? And so it's like very confusing to me that he always is talking about all of this, but like I don't even know that he understands these labels that he somewhat applies to himself but doesn't care if it's like okay you don't like labels but then you throw out these labels you know that all of a sudden so like what are you going to do come out in a year and say you don't agree with people that identify as pansexual like I mean there are as many people out there in the world that are confused by those terms as they are confused by people that identify as non-binary they them so what are you saying Jeffrey and then to come out and say I am the LGBT community and I'm like oh I mean I don't know like for me it's just 
I mean, he is, you know, but like, at, at what point are you offending people within your own community? And this is the thing that I think, as a person that has been out for 30 years, okay, I can testament to this. What makes me sad is that those that stand outside of our community, okay, that are not allies, because I am so thankful for so many of my straight allies that I have and so many of you out there, I am so thankful for you. But let's just be for real. There are a lot of people that stand on the outside that look, of, look at us like freaks, okay? They're just art. We know that, right? So they love nothing more than infighting within the LGBT community because then they look at us and they go, see, they can't even agree on anything within their own community. And Jeffree Star, that's what I'm talking about, about confusing the conversation. He is confusing the conversation. And I'm not saying that he shouldn't come out and say what he agree, what, what pronouns he agrees with or whatever, right? But why do you have to come out in such a hateful manner and say, and all of that other bullshit? Why do you have to say it in such a way like that, you know? That it's like, I don't know. Um, there was another clip that I wanted to put up. Um, and he says a bunch of stuff. And I don't even know. Here, I think I got like two more clips. Here, I will put them up here. But it, he says something in here to the effect of Jeffree Star in his old My Space days. And so I want to show you these two clips. I think it's one. It's either one or two. So here you go. Good morning, everyone, from your favorite gender bending androgynous whore. Hello, how are ya? <laughs> oh my god, you guys. People are nuts. Social media is hilarious. Um, I just read my DMs. There's thousands and thousands and thousands of them, like more so than ever, um, of you guys just letting me know how you feel. Um, and thank you, because you can log on to Twitter sometimes. These people are so nuts, I actually feel bad for them. I used to not, and the older I get, I do have a little bit more sympathy for people that are so bored and miserable. I couldn't not relate. Farthest from the truth for me. <laughs> um, but yes, I said that I don't agree with something and it has been turned into a whole thing, but I'm used to it. I've been online for 20 years. I think it's funny. Um, I know who I am and so do you guys. So always be you, 100% authentic. Always stick up for what you believe in and don't let anyone try to change your mind. I'm seeing a lot of funny ass shit on Twitter like, Jeffrey, you told Shane Dawson that you didn't care about pronouns. You've called yourself an alien forever. Am I really an alien? It's giving human being right here. <laughs> it's giving science. But you know, I'm not arguing with anyone. All I said was I don't like labels. That was really the essence of what I was saying. I wasn't saying anything else. Um, I love everyone. Don't give a fuck about anyone. All in the same fucking swirl. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. New TikToks are coming. I'm on fire, bitch. There's a lot of reviews and there's a lot of trips planned. So Miss Lynn is out the fucking house. And I think it has people a little shook. You know what's crazy is that over the last few days, I have learned that being yourself, having an opinion, not always agreeing with everyone, those three things are scary to the average bear. If they can't be put in a box, pre-labeled, and everything's already wrapped up with explanations in this thing, it's scary to them. You know what I'm not gonna do? Back down from my opinion, from science, from facts, um, and just overall, I didn't even say anything crazy, um, but the media is crazy. So what I, I am going to do, I'm going to take something out of Cardi B's book. You want to hear it? I'm in such a different place mentally. I'm at peace. I'm so happy. Um, and I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of TV appearances, podcasts, and there's a lot of big things in the works. And my brand is just keeps growing and growing. It's just so fucking phenomenal. So yes, bitch, I'm back. And what we're not gonna do is lie on my name. So anyone creating a lie, meaning the media outlet, I'm gonna Cardi B you. I'm gonna file a lawsuit because you are fucking lying on my name. I just went on and I saw a few outlets saying that I'm transphobic. Jeffree Star, who has five transgender employees. I have over a hundred employees of all different ethnicities a brand that is inclusive to the entire world, what we're not gonna do is lie. So if you posted an article saying anything like that, you better delete it, Miss Thing, because I'm fucking coming. All I said was, is I don't agree with pronouns. That's it. So you know how Cardi B sued that woman and, well, the lady don't have any money, but Cardi B won, allegedly, a lot of money from the lawsuit, even though she'll never get it. It's still the point of she won. That was phenomenal for someone like me that has been abused and dragged through the mud. Now, we all know all my past mistakes, girl. Every time that I have an opinion, everyone has to bring up everything from the past. 
Bitch, it's, that's getting so old. But what the Cardi B lawsuit taught me is that the media has been publishing lies forever, right? But they legally can't anymore. And that really proved a point. So don't fucking call me transphobic. Don't call me anything that I'm not. I simply stated my opinion. And it's so funny how many woke crazy ass people are trying to come for me. But the support and the understanding and the common sense from millions of people that I've seen over the last few days, it made, it made, it made me realize I'm, the planet's not that awful. Like people get it. It's just social media and they love to drag Miss Jeffrey Lynn. Also, shout out to so many amazing, beautiful transgender people and the LGBT community in my DMs writing me. Um, just thank you. I know the internet's crazy and thank you for having my back and always just being amazing. It truly means a lot um, because sometimes girl, but anyway, do you want to really switch gears? Cause I'm like, wait, y'all ain't worried about Jeffrey when there's fucking train crashes and chemicals being fucking polluted in the air. And y'all are trying to worry about what I think about a pronoun. Make it make sense. Also seeing a lot of messages, Jeffrey, please come back to YouTube. I don't want TikTok. Baby, my reviews on TikTok are blowing up. Um, it's a different space, obviously. I've been on YouTube for eight years and I know I never did a final video. This thing just vanished. So if you didn't see Shane's last few videos on his channel with me, go watch it. It's a really good explanation. It definitely shows you the behind the scenes of Wyoming. Um, but I'm having a lot of fun on TikTok. There's so many products sitting in front of me that I have to review. Also, shout out to Pink Honey, the best cream bronzer I've ever used. Hi, period. One more morning thought. I never thought that little MySpace Jeffrey, who was fighting for the rights of anyone that looked different, um, would be here right now <laughs> with this weird ass culture. I remember when the LGBT community didn't want labels. It was like, please, everyone just wants to be normal and accepted and appreciated like the next fucking straight person. Thanks. Now we're at 2023. <laughs> what the fuck? Y'all are getting the Jeffree Star clips today. I'm telling you, right? So in one of those two clips that I showed you, the one of them was him coming out and talking about how he's gonna start suing media outlets. Okay, but um, one of the clips, he said something about um, little Jeffree Star back in the MySpace days, hold on a second, I have it written down, who fought for the rights of anyone who looked differently, or looked different, and I thought, ugh. See, Jeffrey, this is why people say that you haven't changed. Because if you go back and you look at the clips, right, where he was fighting for people who looked differently. Now, I don't know if he just means people that chose to color their hair purple and wear different colors of makeup. But when I think about, you know, inclusivity, I think about all kinds of people. And let's just be for real. Jeffree Star was not inclusive of all kinds of people in the past, right? And that's why people continue to bring up his past, even though he said, ooh like acting like he's bored of people that bring up his past. The reason why people continue to bring up his past is because he is somewhat delusional to sit there and say my MySpace days when I fought for anybody who looked different and yet at the very same time you have clips of Jeffree Star calling people out, calling them names, being cruel to people because they looked different than Jeffree Star or people that looked different just in general, right? And so for him to think back and think, oh, well, I was the patron saint of anybody that looked different as long as they fit into what I felt like was different, okay? Anything outside of that realm, well, no, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna like be, I wasn't gonna fight for their rights. But anybody that fit into what I belong, believed in, then yes, I was fighting for their rights, right? Okay. So I thought that was interesting that he, he made that little statement about, you know, I've always been like fighting for the rights of all this kind of stuff. Then the other thing that he came out and he said in the last TikTok or the last Instagram, sorry, story was that he was going to pull a Cardi B and he was going to start uh, suing media outlets that called him transphobic and whatever because you can't lie in the media. Well, I don't really know how that works, but I will say that if somebody comes out and says, it's my opinion that so-and-so is such-and-such, -such, that's an opinion on a public figure. And I think that you are allowed to do that. Like, you can't come out and say, like, this person is, like, an, an, a factual statement, but you can come out and say, my opinion on this public figure based on such-and-such -such is this. And that is completely, that is allowed. You are allowed to do that, okay? And it becomes very, it's, it's, it's hard to kind of like draw those, those lines when you're talking about 
um, public figures. Not to mention, Jeffree Star has put so much out there into the world and so many different statements that I think it would be really, really hard for him. I think it, it's, it would be so hard for him to win a lawsuit when he has put out so much that is negative and detrimental to other people or controversial to himself that people would pull all of that kind of stuff. Like every single one of those clips, every single one of those statements, every single one of those tweets would be pulled, right? So I don't really know how all of that would work, um, but you know, it's, it's whatever. The most interesting thing to me about the statement wasn't that he came out and he said he was going to start suing people, right? Okay, whatever. The thing that was interesting to me about it was that he said that he is the pe he's at most peace that he's ever been in in his entire life and that his business is thriving and all this kind of stuff. Okay, when your business is thriving, when you're at peace, when you're happy with your life, when you're the most content you have ever been in your entire life, your go-to to that is, I'm not going to sue people. Like, your go-to isn't, I'm going to do all this kind of stuff, right? And he says that he's not consumed. He's so bored with all the drama and that he looked online. Well, when you're bored with all the drama and you have millions and millions of dollars and your business is thriving and you're so busy with this thriving business, you would think that the last thing that you have to do is get down and read all these articles or read all these tweets because you're so at peace with your life and you're so busy with your thriving business why are you going to consume yourself with taking down these media outlets, media outlets that have a different opinion than what you agree with? Didn't you have, isn't that how this all started is with your opinion? So I don't know. I'm very confused with that. You know, it's always interesting to me when people always want to come out and this is where I think you can kind of tell when somebody's not being sincere or genuine or authentic or honest is when they'll come out and they'll say, I'm so at peace and I am like at the best point in my entire life and I'm so happy, but what we're not going to do is such and such and such. And I'm going to fight anybody that wants to do this because it's not going to happen and I'm not going to allow it to happen. So it's like, really, you're not at peace with this because if you truly were at peace with this, you wouldn't want to fight, you know? You would cease fighting anyone in anything. You would want to let it go. You would just want to enjoy that inner peace that you have, right? And I, so for me, I ain't buying it. He is so bothered by this. And the thing is, he came out and he made this statement, you know? And th this is the thing. The easiest thing for him to do, um, like I was watching, um, Alex and I were watching Watch What Happens Live the other day, and um, Lala from Vanderpump Rules was on there, and Andy Cohen asked her a question, and he said, well, you used to say this, so what changed? And she goes, I changed my opinion, and she laughed, and I was like, I love that, right? Like, she changed her opinion, okay? We all change our opinion. My best friend says that all the time. She goes, I can change my opinion from one minute to the next if I want to, right? Jeffree Star could have easily got on an Instagram story and not back down time and time again. He always wants to play the victim. Everybody's coming for me. Everybody's villainizing me. Everybody's this, right? But like, this is what I said about Michaela. I said, Michaela could have come out and she could have said, you guys, I screwed up with this whole eyelash deal and I should have made it right and I want to be better and... I want to be honest with you guys and going forward, I'm going to be that person. And she would have earned the integrity of so many of her viewers and even people that had left. And they would be like, oh, this is kind of a different Michaela. If Jeffree Star had come out after that interview and he would have said this instead, and he would have said, you guys, you know what? Like I made some comments on that interview and that podcast. We were having a good time. We were going back and forth. We just kind of got like talking and I made this comment and maybe I was a little harsh about it. You know, I am old school. I am OG. I don't really understand the they, them pronouns. They're kind of confusing to me, but hey, if you want to use them, use them. I shouldn't have said that they are BS. I shouldn't have said all this other kind of stuff. I'm sorry if I offended anybody, but you guys, it, it really, I, I didn't mean it to be that deep what I said. And so, you know what? Like, I, I want to apologize for what I said. I'm sorry if I offended anybody. I didn't really mean it that way. You know, I just meant that I don't understand it and I don't agree with it. It's just, that's all I meant. He has the inability to take responsibility. And this is where when people come to me and they say, why don't you see that Jeffree Star has changed? Because change people do not act this way, okay? Change people do not continue to back down or to double down two, three, four times on a statement that they made if they really don't think it's that big of a deal. He would have come out and said, I'm sorry that I offended people, you guys. 
You know, I've built my entire career on wanting people to feel accepted to be whoever they wanted to be, you know? And if you identify as an alien, you identify as an alien, you know? And I shouldn't have said it, or I, I said it and I don't know. But like, there were so many things he could have said instead of continuing to say, what we're not gonna do is make Jeffree Star a liar. Nobody cares, Jeffree. We already know you're a liar. You've been lying for years, okay? I mean, I could write a book and list one after another of all the lies that Jeffree Star has told one thing and come out and said something completely different the next day. Seriously, you know? I mean, that's whatever at this point. At this point, I care about how he treats people and how he treats his audience. And the evidence of that is not great. And this interview goes to that. But moreover, what I don't understand that makes me the saddest is, why can't we just be respectful of people? that however they identify and just say, you know what? Hey, listen, I may not understand it. It doesn't really matter. And you know what? How somebody else identifies, how somebody else chooses to live their life, as long as they are not hurting somebody else and as long as they are not hurting themselves is none of your business. Whatever they choose to do, whether you agree with it or not, hey, that's fine. Have a conversation. Say, I don't agree with this. I don't get it. Whatever. What's there to agree with, okay? Are you not going to agree with adjectives? Are you not going to agree with verbs? Are you not going to agree with nouns? I mean, they're pronouns. They're how people identify, okay? I'm not really sure how the conversation got to, I don't agree with this or I don't agree with. But if you don't want to agree with it, don't agree with it, right? But can we please agree to at some point have some mutual respect for people, like, this is where I feel like the world has taken such a shift in the wrong direction. It's like, we've lost just having basic respect for each other on just a kind level, you know? Jeffree Star could have come out. Like, my most bothersome state feeling about this whole thing was almost not what he said, but how he said it. And the fact that he said all of that other bullshit. That's really a hurtful way to say that to people that maybe for them... Them identifying they, them, and them identifying as non-binary has been something that has taken them years and years and years and years to get to that point. And then when they woke up one day and they realized, this is who I am, this is my truth, this is my reality, and they've looked up to Jeffree Star for so long, and they feel at once in their life comfortable in their own reality, and the person that they've looked up to that maybe helped them along their journey says that everything that they feel inside is just a bunch of bullshit that they came up with because they were bored. Makes me very, very sad. And at the end of the day, that's how I feel about it. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.